do about animals. Teach me. Teach oh, me, Joe. Oh, my Jill. goodness. <laughs> There's a certain species of hornets that flies into honeybees. I think it's Japanese hornets. They fly into these hives of honeybees and mm-hmm. just decimate the honeybees. They wow. cut their heads off with their, their mandibles. Like right. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And they're so much bigger. So they fly in, and there's this slow motion video of these enormous hornets flying in and decapitating thousands and thousands of honeybees. So what's interesting is the honeybees, they're so outsized. I mean, the the hornets are literally like 50, 60 times larger than you see it there. They're they're just... Maybe that's not the right number, but they're much, much larger, and they're much more powerful. But... The honeybees figured out a strategy to kill the hornets. And what they do is they surround them. They get on top of them, and then they beat their wings. They Hmm. all generate heat. And then they kill the the hornets with the heat of their body. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. So here's this thing that's decapitating everyone in your little village, (laughs) right? And so you have to jump on top of it and flex. And heat it up, right? And heat it up. Yeah. But the fact that they were able to devise this strategy, see, look how they do it, man. They just grab a hold of these bees and just decapitate them. It's unbelievable. They have these horrific faces, right? These giant mandibles. Yeah, I can see that. And they just swarm in and they just, look at them, they're just chopping these fucking honeybees apart. You you said it, nature, you cruel, beautiful bitch. Like, cruel, beautiful bitch. So <laughs> 30 just, hornets versus 30,000 bees. Do you know why the hornets are doing this? Are they getting they honey? They probably or? want the larva. The larva, yeah. Yeah, they probably want the larva or they want the honey. They want something. But look at all these dead fucking bees with no heads. Bizarre. <laughs> it's crazy. It's nuts. I mean, it's it's just so weird right. that... that, that you know, that nature devises these sort of strategies to prevent overpopulation and that there's this balance that takes place where, you know, the bees are threatened by something that's very bee-like. So you mm-hmm. see how they're, they're getting on top of them? Yeah. So that's that's their strategy for, for dealing. They all get on top of them. So you see a bunch of yep. them now, and he's trying to get away, but he can't fly away. And so then they swarm, and then they eventually kill him. So you think that actually, like, cooks... The wasp? Something, it overheats their body and it for it. See, look how many wow. of them are on there. Yeah. There's something that it does where it, it overheats their body. Wow. I mean, look at the size of the, the size comparison. They're so much bigger. Imagine if you had that hornet, you know, that was six feet long. Oh, my God. Like, I think giant insects horse. would be the worst. The worst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst, I think, would be uh, praying mantises. They scare yeah. the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. We, we've been on a praying mantis kick lately. We've been yeah. watching them kill rats and <laughs> yeah. everything. Hummingbirds. The hummingbird one is the wildest one. They sit by a hummingbird feeder, uh-huh. just sit there not moving, and the hummingbird comes to feed, and they just... Snap, just spear it. Snatch them. It's crazy, They're right? They're so strong for yeah. their size. Yeah. You know, there was uh, one with a mouse, and the mouse is so much bigger than the praying mantis. But uh-huh. The praying mantis just jacks this mouse. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, like, it's wild. It it's is a wild creature, man. Yeah, they're, they're really, amazing. Really cool looking, though. I see them all the time. I find yeah. them all the time when I'm running. Mm-hmm. I find here, them here in LA, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all over the place. Yeah, yeah. No, they're they're amazingly cool and very diverse. You know, there's huge ones, there's small ones, they're mm-hmm. spread out all over the world. They're amazing yeah. group of animals. And what is this? One it's got a snake? Snakes. This is lots of them. It's like a highlight video. Oh my <laughs> and god. Jesus. Look, Look at, at that. that. It's got a fucking snake. Yep. I, I think we can't even imagine how strong they would be if they were our size. No. I think they would run right through walls. Oh yeah. <laughs> They would. I mean, look at this fucker. He's he's taking on a giant snake. That now snake is it. like two feet long, and he's a little ass hum, little ass uh, praying mantis, and he's fucking it up. He's literally eating it. Yeah, yeah. Just they're, pulling chunks out of it. They're insane, and they have such crazy eyesight, and like they're literally covered in body armor with their exoskeleton. Like yeah. they're just they're amazing. Well, they seem like what you would think of as being like a horrific animal that lives on another planet. Totally. Totally. Like, do you remember that movie, uh, Starship Troopers? Of course. I love that movie. That was a great movie, Yeah, right? I loved it. And that was one of the things in the Starship Troopers, like these big giant insect yep. things. that were Bursting alive. out of the ground yeah. and shooting stuff out of their butts. Yeah. And they were great. I love that movie. Yeah. And Cor- Corey Rico. Was yes. that the guy's name? <laughs> yeah. That was a fun movie, right? Yeah. It was kind of tongue in cheek. Totally. But also like really gory and totally. violent. And, yeah. Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. It's like the genius. That's right. Yeah. It's great. That was such a fun movie. Yeah, man, that's great stuff. <laughs> it's like we're really fortunate that those things are small, that all mm-hmm. all insects are small. We would be on the menu otherwise, oh, no yeah. doubt about it. Like they're too, 
like indiscriminately perfect hunters, big, big, you know, predatory insects.